Hey YouTubers, Levi here. Starting a class overview series of all the Diablo 3 classes. Going to kind of show you if you're having trouble getting into Torment, how to get into Torment, and if you're in Torment, where to go from there. Uh, Going to show off the Demon Hunter class today, which I did the Melting the Bosses video on Torment 1. Uh, I'm going to do this video in Torment 1. I have been playing this class in Torment 2, but um, this will just be for the ease of showing off everything. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the skills and the build. Um, this is a fire build, so it's using the typical stuff uh, with Cluster Arrow loaded for bear being your main damage dealer. Uh, but I have resource cost reduction re reduced so or resource uh, reduction so low on this character that. Um, that I can get rid of the, what, what was the one everyone else was using? Uh, entangling shots. Justice is served. I can dump that for the uh, chakram, and I use twin chakrams. Uh, as you can see, it pretty much doesn't really use any of my hatred. So I like using this when my hatred is low to get regenerate some discipline so I can hit the preparation. Uh, preparation punishment gives you more hatred so you can spam more cluster arrows. Vault Tumble for Mobility, Vengeance Seethe if you're out of Hatred and you're still within range of some guys, uh, pop that or when you come into a boss or an elite pack and, and you're running out of uh, Hatred, that's a good way to go. Uh, companion wolf, com wolf Companion is just opposite of Seethe. If this is on cooldown, you pop this. This has a really short cooldown. Night Stalker, Critical Hits have a chance to restore Discipline. Discipline is going to fuel your preparation. Uh, bl uh, blood Vengeance, uh, to complement our uh, Reaper's Wraps here. Uh, whenever we get a health globe, it, just, uh, it restores our resource, primary resource. So same here, we're going for more primary and added some discipline there. Archery, we're using hand crossbows to get the extra critical hit chance. And then tactical advantage for more mobility. So let's go into my gear. Nowhere near final gear yet, but you can see base, I'm about... You know, a little over a million damage. Uh, my vitality is absolutely horrible, and though my toughness is absolutely horrible as well, but you don't really get hit too much in this build. Uh, you're mostly kiting around and just killing things quickly before they can even uh, get a shot off. My points here, it's mo movement speed, maximum hatred, and then into dexterity. we got some open ones here we'll pop in. Attack speed, critical hit damage, life resistance, and then area damage, resource cost reduction. Get all that done there. So you see the details here. We got pretty decent attack speed, uh, good crit chance, crit damage. Uh, resistance, not the greatest, but, oh, and then the fire damage increased 73%. It's pretty sweet. So going over the gear, Pride's Fall, probably my favorite helmet for this. I got the um, Ruby in there for the extra experience. Uh, since I mostly grind out tier uh, Torment 1 on this, uh, it, it's nice to get the extra experience buff off the weaker monsters. This uh, this amulet, really not using for the orange stat, but I just found it. It had crit chance, crit damage. Uh, the crit damage could have been a lot better, but just rolled fire on it. So this is just a good placeholder for now. Uh, Reaper's Wrap, same thing. Uh, life per hit, not really too relevant in this build. Um, but it's fine. Uh, just once again, just a good placeholder. Uh, getting more fire damage off this uh, with the resistance, sure. Um, Pauldrons of the Skeleton King, once again, this is just another placeholder because it had high bite and was able to get res and armor on it. And with the upcoming changes to 2.1, um, hopefully we'll be getting a little more armor with the uh, 8,000 decks since that's no longer going to dodge. Uh, it'll be up your, it'll be up to your armor. It's pretty bad. Uh, Mage Fist got the trifecta roll on these, so that's why I'm popping those, even though they got low uh, fire skill roll. Unity, because uh, I am cheating with the Unity on my follower, so this helps with our bad survivability. Uh, just some placeholder pants and the Depth Diggers, placeholder belt here. Um, Natalia's uh, boots with the Natalia's there. Get, we get the three-piece bonus for the extra crit chance and the extra discipline from the ring that I got. Uh, the ring is pretty decent with the extra damage. And then we just got Donetta Spike. Once I get the other Donettas, you're going to get awesome mobility using Vault. And we'll just kind of zone in here and show you what this is all about. 
and you really just melt through things really quickly. Sorry, my frame rate is really slow while I record. Ugh, really bad. Dropping down to like 20 frames, normally around 50. But you can see things get, you know, you pretty much just one shot everything. Here's a goblin. Come on, you're not going anywhere. Dead. I'll take those. Let's just find an elite pack so we can aggro them down here real quick. And this is just, we just pop the wolf for the extra buff, and these few shots, they're already down. You get so many health globes to help regen. It's a pretty fun build, and it's easy. Like, once you get, if you're getting low and you just pop out the chakrams, like I said, because it really doesn't use any hatred, you can really just take care of some of the stragglers that get left behind after you shoot off your primary cluster shots. Just kind of stay off to the side, pop a couple shots. Try not to get hit so you keep your pride's fall for the resource uh, reduction cost. And there you go. That's the Demon Hunter. If you got any questions, uh, leave a comment below. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more Diablo-based content. Uh, I may be doing some more magic stuff here in the future. Uh, I just had a birthday and I cracked some packs of 15 because... It's not a birthday unless you're cracking packs. So look forward to that as well if you're uh, still into the magic content from, from the old channel from doing the proxies. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And more videos to come on more characters. Peace out.